In the book of Psalms, and I believe it's also in Proverbs and Hebrews, um, David asks in the book of Psalms, why do the wicked prosper? And, and you know, the righteous, the righteous suffer and the wicked prosper. And that, those scriptures have come to mind to me a lot lately. You know, why, why do the wicked prosper? I believe we've been in a time, um, I, I wanna say for centuries, where these influences in high places have been wicked. They've been um, greedy. They've wanted to control the people, control the masses, um, control the righteous. And meanwhile, the righteous have been calling out to God for justice. We've been calling out for justice, for truth, um, for freedom. Um, and, and, you know, I, I, I know God is long-suffering, and I believe he's been long-suffering. But the feeling I've had is that God is saying, enough. I have had enough. I have given them long enough to repent. And we, I believe, and I believe we haven't seen it in mainstream yet, but I believe we are in a time right now where justice has begun to be served. And a lot of these people have been arrested and a lot more is going to be unveiled. I think we're very close right now to a time where um, God's going to remove the veil and truth is going to be exposed. And we're all going to be able to see the truth and the truth will set us free.